Hi everyone, welcome back. Tuplex here. And uh, in this episode, we are going to basically work on destroying aliens. And um, I'd like to start beefing up the security of our base. Because we've been getting a lot of attacks. Um, some of the attacks are coming into the base. Now, I suppose that we could go out and destroy alien nests, but I think that that is not going to be a permanent solution because even when we do that, um, more alien bases are going to spawn no matter, uh, you know, no matter how much we push them out, we're going to continue to get attacks. And eventually they will find a way to uh, creep through our defenses. So I think what we could do is uh, basically just expand these walls on this side. <clears throat> or it might even be better just to take advantage of the water and we could build walls out to the water going east-west, and that way the, you know, the lakes themselves would provide some, some defense. Yeah, this is where we got uh, a couple turrets get taken out. Let's see, go ahead and pick that up. Let me think about that here for a minute. We do have that connection right there. What I'm talking about is uh, building walls. I think we could go from east to west here, east to west there, but I, I suppose it's just as easy to build a north-south wall along the edge of the base. <clears throat> so I think that's what we'll work on today. Let me go kill this little happy congregation over here. I don't know what they think they're up to, but uh, I don't want to wait uh, to see what they have in mind. Uh-oh. They took off. There they are. Look. Look at those guys. didn't we? I'm going to get my flamethrower out. Oh wow, that's a lot of worms. Oh hey, I got turrets there. My turrets alone. Looks like they put up a good fight, too. over there. Okay. <clears throat> well, I was saying I didn't think this was a good long-term solution, but at least this uh, does give us a little bit of breathing room. Um, yeah, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna bother reinstating that thing. Okay, so um, let's work on building a wall. 
Now we could think about doing flamethrower turrets, but um, I don't really think we have enough oil available to do that. <clears throat> I have also given some thought to the idea of laser turrets. I think there's an achievement related to not building laser turrets. Let me see. Yeah, win the game without building any laser turrets. So we've already gotten pretty far into the game without them. It might be worth no, you know what? I'll just save that for a speed run. Okay, let's build laser turrets. I can get that achievement pretty easily in a in a speed run. Which I think I might do after this series. I haven't done a quick game in a while. Those are kind of fun. Okay, so laser turrets. What do we need for those? Batteries, steel, and circuits in vast quantities. <clears throat> Fortunately, I happen to have all of those ingredients. Most of this iron bus is not really being utilized. <clears throat> okay, what's the crafting time on that? 20 seconds. Yeah, so let's... Um, oh, we have steel and circuits here already. So if we can just get batteries up there in decent numbers, we can make these pretty fast. Um, I don't really have a good path for batteries to go north. Kind of running out of room for that. But I do have an absolute metric crap ton of logistics bots that are not doing anything. So let's... Uh, Let's take advantage of those guys. Um, first, let me see. I don't recall exactly where we are putting batteries into our network. So I want to find out where that's taking place and then um, <clears throat> double up on that so that we've got Plenty of inserters getting batteries put into the network. Maybe they're not in the network at all. Let's take a look. I do see some batteries there. But those might just be there for storage. Hmm. Oh, look. Here we have steel and circuits and batteries. I could pull it from here. There. So we don't have to use robots. Um, I don't really need all these engines. But a few extra engines won't hurt anything. Okay, so let's get four machines making laser turrets. It'll give us one every five seconds, which is uh, pretty decent. It'll take us a while before we can start building massive walls, but uh, not too long. All right, so we'll put some stack inserters here. I guess the long-handled inserters are going to be the ones that are going to be working hard. And then we'll put those into 
active provider chests. And we'll have those work until we have, let's say 200. barrels that I have. I'm not sure exactly why I picked those up. I don't need those stone furnaces either. I don't think I need to hang on to alien artifacts anymore. I certainly don't need logistics bots. Uh, construction robots I do need. Looks like I lost a few. can I get rid of? I guess the other stuff I'll... Well, I don't really need train tracks right now either. I can always pick those up again later. Same with the signals. I think we're all set with trains for the moment. Okay, there's some extra batteries, extra engines. Okay, I am going to need a lot of walls, so I will oops, I'll get myself a thousand walls, and then uh, I need to dump out these, uh oh, looks like I'm out of stone, yeah, so stone walls might not last too much longer, at least not from there, we are mining a lot of rock, um, in another part of the base. Okay. So where we have gun turrets, I suppose we could leave them in place. Let's do that. So existing gun turrets uh, we'll leave there because I don't really have any other use for them. And they're doing fine, uh, at least the ones that are being resupplied. Certainly don't have any problems there. So we might as well let them continue to do their job. And we'll build up the rest of the wall with laser turrets that we won't have to worry about. Just have to make sure they have electricity. There. I really wish I had taken the trees out of there. That's kind of annoying that you can't see what's in there. Okay. And I guess we'll just bring up the wall to around here. and then we'll build it over and run it into that solar panel. Uh, we are gonna need more gates. I'll just make a couple stacks of those. We'll put those down manually. Okay. Clear out a little bit more wood here so that we can put the wall across the single section of track. That'll save us some gates. All right, so let's get started with that. And we'll do double sections of wall like we have been elsewhere. All right, now here. Okay, um, I guess we'll 
work on laser turret damage. Looks like you can put a gate on top of a wall and it'll automatically convert. Okay. Yeah, let's get rid of these trees. I'm going to just do this manually because I'm afraid if I use the bots, I'll end up picking up turrets. good. Alright. There we go. trees to take out here. All right, now how far south do we take this? We should just bring it down to this little pond here. the rest of my wall. So that's where we need to take this. There. Okay, so nothing can get through there. A little bit of land here so we have room for laser turrets all right those gun turrets we're gonna leave where they are uh, I think these we can pick up since they're too far away from the wall to do anything useful here. Hope I don't break any power connections by doing this. Guess we'll find out. Oh. Alright, guess we better hurry up with those turrets, huh? Alright. Let's ask for some laser turrets. Um, engine units on flamethrower turrets. That's interesting. I would like to build a couple flamethrower turrets because I want to make sure in my layout here that I leave room for flamethrower turrets in case we decide to put them there later. All 
Right now, I don't think that they'll really be necessary, but it might be something fun to mess around with when we get to the point that we have more oil than we know what to do with. If we get to that point. Okay. So I did want to get rid of oil. So let's do that. And I got all these empties. One thing interesting now is you can hold down the Z key and it will continuously drop items. Okay, that's all full. So I'll just put those in my trash slots. We'll get rid of those. Oh, okay. So I've got some laser turrets. And let's build one flamethrower turret just to see what it looks like. Okay. Uh, where is it? Oh, it's still building. Something's being damaged, but not destroyed. So I think we're safe. Okay, so a flamethrower turret. Looks like, like if we were gonna set it up like that. Looks like that's the same width as any other turret. All right, so we'll set up laser turrets like this. And that damage is not going away, so let me go see what's going on here. Guess we're gonna have to put a wall around the top side as well. All right, who's being damaged? Because he has no ammo. That is a perfect candidate for laser turret replacement. There we go. we have this. Let's see, in terms of power, I guess we need these every other one. Like that. And then we can put a light next to them like that. Okay. So let me blueprint that. Okay, laser turret damage is fully upgraded. Let's do speed. turrets. Yeah, we'll have to wait for some more to be made. I would like to put another one right there. Well, I guess I can. Alright, I didn't really want 
want that one. Okay, now I got some more turrets. There we go. Okay, so this wall uh, is looking good. Now I'm just going to walk around with this blueprint in my hand to make sure that all of this is within range of repair bots. And it appears to be. All right, so now we just go do this part up here. space there. Oh, I'm out of lights. Oh, and now those laser turrets are being damaged. Those two that I put down there not too long ago. So let's go take a look at what's going on now. Looks like they were getting a fairly heavy attack here. All right. So what we'll do there is I'll just sprinkle some pieces of wall around just to sort of slow them down when they're coming through here. So if they're coming straight at this, all those wall sections are within range of the laser turrets and that'll just basically give the laser turrets more time to shoot before the aliens get within range and are able to cause any damage. Okay, now we've got another attack going on down here, but that one was taken care of. Okay, all right, so so basically this is the, I mean, we're pretty much at the end of the uh, starting base, if you will, this area here. Uh, we've got most of our science done. You know, we got a few upgrades left to do, but basically everything is researched. So we won't even really need to do science very much longer. Um, seems like we have enough resources to build decent quantities of supplies. Um, one thing that we do need to uh, start building a lot of our underground belts, or the blue belts and underground belts and splitters. We're going to need a lot of those, so we'll have to get going on those pretty soon. <clears throat> we can set that up next. Um, we'll need to start making lots of electric furnaces, uh, refineries and so forth, but... Um, and modules. We could use a lot of modules. Um, so anyway, with that being the case, I think we can we could probably start to wall in this entire base and put up defenses uh, just because we are not going to have much expanding left to be done here. Um, since we've got what we need to finish science and we've seems like we have what we need to do most of the uh, construction of supplies that we're going to need. So we'll continue this in the next episode. We'll continue walling in uh, the west side of the base, at least down, uh, at least down to the copper smelting area, um, should be secure. We can always add more turrets. We could either double laser turrets with the layout that we have now, or we could add fire turrets or even gun turrets. 
uh, to the lasers. I think any of those would be a good option. Um, especially the gun turrets, because uh, gun turrets actually do more DPS than the laser turrets do. Their range is much smaller, um, which I can show you guys. I guess I didn't really need to pick that one up because I have plenty of them here, but anyway, just by sake of comparison, you can see the difference in the range between lasers and guns. Guns do more DPS, so if you have lasers and guns mixed, the lasers will start to pick off stuff that is far away, like the spitters that don't get close. Uh, lasers can hit spitters without being hit themselves, I think, or maybe they just barely get hit themselves. Um, and, uh, and then as things get closer, the gun turrets can wipe them out pretty fast with their high DPS. So um, I think a mixture of turret types is probably the more solid overall defense. So like I said, we'll get into that in the next episode. And then we'll start thinking about expanding into our main rocket building base. Thanks again for watching, everyone. We'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.